Hey guys, welcome back to Techno Savior. Today I am going to share how a little bit of observation helped me to get $200. So I got to know about this platform called HackerOne, which pays hackers or security researchers when they report hacks. So the best thing I like about the platform is their Hacktify section. If you are new to Bug Bounty, then this is the best place to gather information and understand how Bug Bounty works. Well, I thought to get my hands dirty. I was doing a casual reading and found these two reports. The first one is from cs.money, which shows how open redirection leads to account takeover. This issue was fixed obviously. The second report that caught my attention was text injection. By adding some text in the URL, it got reflected in the page. So the site where I tried my research was support.cs.money. This was in scope. I tried the open redirection defect by adding slash slash google.com. It gave me a message cannot get slash support google.com so open redirection was not an issue anymore. But then came the idea of text injection. Then I decided that I will change this google.com to some other text messages. So I started writing anything such simple as test and it got reflected in the web page. So thereby came the idea that if I kind of construct a URL to mislead the genuine users so that they can follow the URL that is mentioned in the page. So I added .cs.money.com has been moved and I can give any attacker's website where a genuine user unaware that it's a hack might go into that website that might be a phishing site also. And to tempt the user to go to that website I will add something like welcome coupon is also available. Guys, at this point of time, I was so new to bug bounty that I didn't even know the difference between cross-site request forgery and text injection. So it was a beginner's level step one. And I thought of reporting this issue because it might genuinely hamper CS money's image. So guys, finally I reported the text injection issue and not only in the support.cs money, I also found the issue in one of their other websites called 3d.csmoney.com. Since the severity was of low impact, I was awarded $100 for each of this website. This has been right now fixed and it is displaying 404 not found. By the time the report was disclosed, both 3d.cs.money was also fixed and support.cs.money was also fixed. You can view this report directly by clicking on the link below. So there is a detailed explanation and since this report is of very low severity, many of the applications don't accept this report. And if you are a newbie, then there is no harm in trying out your luck. Guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. If you are new to our channel, please do subscribe. And if you want to see more such videos, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.